Hey everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to take your videos that you created on uh, Loom or YouTube and post them uh, as part of your assignment in Classroom. Uh, you should all have a Classroom page uh, to actually post the work and uh, it's a pretty simple process. Uh, so you're going to start with going to your Classwork page uh, and creating a new assignment uh, for your students. Uh, you have a lot of different options here, and you can post a video to anything. Uh, I would highly recommend not actually using um, the material, uh, because the problem with material is that kids have a tendency just not to notice it, and they'll ignore it uh, because it doesn't show up as an assignment. So I would definitely recommend when you're creating something to do either an assignment or a quiz question, or even a question. Uh, and for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to use an assignment. Uh, so when you pop open your assignment, uh, obviously you're going to want to give it a title, whatever they, that may be. Um, give it whatever instructions that you want to do uh, for your kids. Uh, obviously how you structure your assignments is up to you. You can have them submit something or do open response or give them a quiz or something like that or just a response to the video you're posting. Uh, to actually add uh, the video, what you're going to want to do is uh, one, grab the link off of uh, your video so I have loom open here and I can just click on the button that says copy link and I'm gonna jump back over to Google Classroom and I'm gonna click on add and I'm gonna choose link and I can paste that link in here with right click paste or I can do control V and hit add link uh, and that will make this video accessible uh, to all of your students and it will be attached to the proper assignment so we can also do this with a YouTube video in the same way. Here's a, a video I made previously, so I'm looking at it through the studio, and you can see over here on the right-hand side that we have this option here that says uh, video link. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is select this and copy it. And you can do that with a right-click copy or a control C on your keyboard. Uh, after you copy it, go back to Google Classroom and you can do add link again, uh, control V to create, uh, add the video onto your assignment. Uh, now, once you've made an assignment, uh, if you want to add some supplementary stuff to this, that is totally doable. Obviously, you can write something, you know, in the instructions. Uh, for this example, something I always recommend doing is actually creating a Google Doc. It makes things a lot easier for your students. So right here, for example, I just have a, a dummy worksheet that I would theoretically give to my kids that has, you know, questions and places for them to respond. Uh, and I'm going to use this to attach it to Google Classroom. Uh, and the way that you would do that is uh, we don't want to click Create. Uh, we want to do Add. And we are going to say Google Drive. Uh, and because that assignment we just had opened in Google Drive, it is going to be one of the first things that pops up. Uh, so you can see I have worksheet example right here. Uh, so I can double click on this and add it to my assignment. Uh, and then the big thing to do here is you want to click on the option where it says students can view file. And we're going to switch this over to students or make a copy for each student. Uh, making a copy for each student gives them their own individualized copy. And just from using this, I have found it's the easiest way to get your kids to actually submit assignments uh, because it takes out a lot of barriers for them. Um, Whatever you do, don't use the students can edit file uh, because if you give them editing permissions, it gives your whole class permission to edit one thing and uh, that would obviously just create chaos. Another thing that we can do is we can actually add, you know, your lessons that you were demonstrating. So in my example for, you know, for example, I used a, a Google slideshow. Um, so I can actually go in here and I can say add um, and I can choose uh, that slideshow that I was also demonstrating to my kids. Uh, and then you can add this to your your classroom assignment uh, and make sure you give them only view privileges so that will let students actually go through and see your notes and follow along if they want to uh, but it doesn't give them you know editing privileges or anything like that and it makes things just easier for them as a whole uh, obviously when you're finished add in your due dates um, you know change the topics or whatever and assign uh, and you're good to go uh, that's how you put your videos into uh, Google Classroom so let me know if you have any questions